First time hosted in Bloemfontein and we've got two smashing matches for you. In about 10 minutes, we're going to kick off with Western Province against Northern Transvaal. First look at the Blue Bulls this year. And after that, we're going to have a second meeting in a short while, Transvaal against Eastern Province. That should really be a nail-biter. And lovely bit of action there. Martin Knutz, of course, will be playing fly half for Transvaal and Franz Erasmus will be in the thick of it. Should be great fun. The national selectors here and that means the players will be taking it very seriously indeed. So there you are. Those are the games we're showing live on Emnet. Brought to you by First National Bank. Province against Northerns. Transvaal against Eastern Province. And there's a lovely shot of the Free State Stadium. And I can tell you that the pitch is in the best condition it has ever been. You can see the green so often. It's brown this time of the year. The work they've put in, it is magnificent. As Western Province, Northern Transvaal will be coming out now. Let's have a look at the sides. There's the province side. Mike Bailey, of course, fullback. That'll be interesting. He's a big, strong center. Interesting to see if he runs from the back. Kubus Olufsen, former Bullen player. Kubus van der Merwe. Stellenbosch lock. St Stellenbosch uh, center. Louis Blum in at lock. Gert Small has pulled out and FC Smith has moved to the back row. So a side with possibilities. And interestingly, Louis Blum is the thousandth player, the 1,000th player ever to be picked for a Western Province side. Lance Sherrill, fly half, marvellous season last year. And of course, Steph Nell getting in from Freddie Ferreira, who broke his jaw in a club game. And if you're listening, Freddie, get well soon. And the wing, of course, Andre Hickson. He had a smashing game in the border centenary match. Looked full of running and certainly impressed the locals down there in East London. Let's have a look at the province side now, at the uh, Northern Transvaal side now. And you'll see right at the start, Hebrand Krobler, of course, marvellous running fullback. And when he is playing, it is never a dull game. Jacques Olivier, he'll be on the wing, number 11. And his uncle is Jan Ellis. And if you think that's interesting, Hebrand Kombrink playing number eight. Well, his uncle is Tace Lawrence. And just to cap that, debut fly half Oki van Grienen. Well, his dad, also Oki, represented South Africa in the Olympics in 1956 in the modern pentathlon. And a nice shot of the players coming out. Now, one of the things running out of this ground, running onto the field, is that the big players have to duck their head. So guys like um, that man, Neil Hugo, let's hope he doesn't smack his head on the door little as he runs out. But what a great welcome. In recent years, of course, Northerns have held sway in this fixture. The last time Province won was in the Lion Cup final two years ago. They won 21-16 down at Newlands. Remember, of course, that year they drew the Curry Cup final, that dramatic last-minute try by Carl Duplessis. So the national selectors here, the players, a lot to play for. And quite a few northern guys. Well, not back yet. Nas Puerta, Puerta Paris. And always plenty of competition for places up in, Bo up in Blue Bull land. Next week, of course, Northern's playing Free State. An interesting one. Any school kid who comes along with his dad, that school kid will get in free. Mac van Feeren told us that before the game, and what a great incentive to go to Loftus next week. And it's Mac van Feeren's birthday tomorrow, so happy birthday to him. We're away! So a slightly sluggish start from Northerns. Pack of forwards won't let ball like that go loose later on. And a straight him takes, Robert Dupree, uh, Robert Dupree kicks it, not quite far enough. And the touch judge flag is up, so they will come back. I think the touch judge flag is up, this does not count. Now the ref hasn't seen it. 
but somebody stuck his foot in touch. And I think it's uh, touch judge Horn. Somebody put his foot in touch. But certainly an element of the discipline we've come to respect from Northerns. Robert Tupria put up a high ball, didn't go far enough. And the temptation there for the big forwards to get offside, they waited until Robert had put them on side. That's discipline. Five, nine, 15. Keelan passes, Northern's attacking right from the start and Probler's in. Now a chance for Hickson to run. So interesting, Northern's moving the ball straight away and won the first two lineouts of the game. Dionu stays in. Certainly one of the quickest men around. Kevin Prober slicing it. It's almost in a late tackle on Andre Hickson. Missed it from here. Son, son. Explaining things to Uli Schmidt. Billy Schmidt captaining the side today and Robert Dupria, vice captain. So a chance for first blood to Lance Sherrill. Interestingly, there was a place kicking competition held before the, the matches started. The, the, the place kickers of all the sides and it was won by Joel Stransky. So Joel Stransky took away the golden boot. Just part of the fun we've been having here in the build up for the games. Lance Sherrill showed a lot of form last year and certainly matured as a player since his early games for Transvaal. So, a nice start of the season for him. 2 hanging kickoff by Van Grenen. Jan Lok takes it, is dumped by Blom. And Robert Dupree, a man who, well, if he gets into the international stage, no doubt will cause a big stir. Very good player indeed. The grubber for Van Grenen. And smashing defence by Kurbus van der Merwe. Good rucking by Province. And a bit of an aimless kick by Steph now, but ball bouncing around. And Kevin Probler, nice long left footed clearance. So Steph Nell in, slightly aimless kick, but interesting the Province rucking that ball. Heads down and over it. Tian Strauss, a chance to run up the, the Northern's backs. Doesn't take it. And Andrew Aitken, of course. Experienced glory last year with Natal. Well, the referee, I think, is going to blow for a late tackle. He certainly noticed it. Nope, says it was legal. So, Province very lively at the start. Good short line out over the top to Tion Strauss. And a nice quick ruck ball. Northern's pushing. And apparently the end of this month, the referees and the coaches getting together to sort out the lineouts. Long overdue. Well, hard to pick up an infringement there.
It's a tricky angle. Lance Sherrill coming across the posts. And the ball should be swinging left to right. Well, on form. And perhaps that early warm-up of the placing competition has given Lance Sherrill plenty of confidence. Both those kicks he turned away the minute he hit the ball. And that's always a sure sign that the ball is on its way. 6-0 to Province. Five minutes gone. Bit too far from Frenchinen. Allows Blom to catch cleanly. Clever little chip kick by Nell. He's made fan space, made it bounce. Kenny Carson's under pressure. And Christa Spannenberg showing that he's lost none of his marvellous footwork. A really horrendous list of knee injuries, Christa Spannenberg. And nice to see him back. There's Karat Kombrink, number eight. Has come on as a replacement on the wing for Northerns before, but really winning his first cap today. And a splendid kick by Lance Sherrill. And plenty of fun in the front rows of that last scrum. Francois Fake, of course, up against Jan Locke, who looks much fitter than he's done at this stage previous seasons. That should be some battle today. Steph now. And Cheryl going for the drop. And interesting, trying a drop with his weaker right foot. Didn't catch it properly, but confidence to try. Oki van Grunen to start. Oh, and it's a beauty. Well, Lance Sherrill trying to grab a hold of this game. Always difficult. Miss a drop kick, you always should have passed. If it had gone over, he'd have been a hero. Slightly further this time, allows Need Hugo to take it, and Province have tidied nicely. Driving it forward. Jan Strauss through, has got support from Smith, support from Blom, this is good play, they need it quickly. And referee says, I think the pass went forward. Louis Blom winning his first cap today. And two players down, I think Tian Strauss is tying his bootlaces. But Louis Blom has taken a knock. Province forwards, driving well and driving together, good support. And that's something that we've seen lacking this year. Perhaps Free State, the best forward performance in that Yardley final. And if you get a good scrum from Northerns, of course, Robert Tapria often clears from the base. It will depend on the quality of the ball he gets. 